If you want to sell to a person's subconscious mind, this is what you do. Because people make decisions subconsciously before they are aware they've made a decision. They make the decision subconsciously, then they try to rationalize it consciously. If you want to sell to someone, the, you must sell yourself first before you sell your products. Yes. People buy you before they buy your products. The only way people will buy you is if you dress like people they respect. Because on what basis do you respect someone? I was, I was in, in my estate one day. A security man was arguing with someone or did something. I don't know what happened. All, all I know is when I turned, I noticed that this man, if you see the way he looked, come on. Ah, uh, you know this guy is, is boxed up. Not because I saw his account, but because of the way he looked. He went and he slapped the security man from the back. Slapped him, you know? And the, the security man turned and wanted to, and when he saw him, he hesitated. Because subconsciously, in, a micro, in, in micro, micro seconds, his subconscious mind had decided that this kind of look is not the kind of person I can afford to slap. Not because of any other thing, but because of the way he looked. So you can make somebody buy your products just because of the way you look. See, we had a training here one day. A lady came to sell us food. When I saw the way this girl dressed and was serving the food, I said, eh? I said, come, how are you? Come and talk to me. Is this how you dress every time when, you, when you're serving food? She said, yes. I said, jeez. In just how many months, she's doing, she has done trainings. Her business is expanding at the speed of light. This recording I'm doing now, how, how come I'm doing this? It's because I heard she, she does her trainings online. I said, man, come, tell me how you do it. And I've been in this business with her before her several months. But what got my attention was, look at the way this girl was dressing. If you don't look rich, you never get rich. Mm. If you don't look rich, you will never be rich. And to look rich is not hard. People say it's money. You don't need any money to look good. What do you need? Research. Yes. When you look at somebody and you feel, say, man, I'm feeling this guy good. What is he wearing? How is he, how is he wearing it? Go and do your own and wear it. I tell ladies, when I see women who wear pearls, I'm like, man, this lady is boxed up. Who said the pearls must be expensive? Go and buy from the road there and wear it. Who will check the price? It's good to wear expensive things because expensive things increase your confidence. When you know what you're wearing is worth a certain amount, it boosts your confidence up. Very key. Very key. If you're keeping beards or anything, don't make your, don't, don't make your beards look like a mistake. Make it intentional. <laughs> yes. Ladies, if you want to do your hair, make it perfect. See, I'm telling you this thing. If your sales are wrong, I would ask you, what are you wearing? A guy was struggling, couldn't get a job for months. I said, hold on, before you show me your CV or show me anything, what do you wear for the interview? When he showed me the picture, I said, make that tie longer. He got the job the next interview. Because you are appealing to the subconscious mind. So this is a secret. Selling to the subconscious mind, what are you wearing?